welcome to Clean Air, my right, I'm Ume Kulsum. Well, almost often, maybe always, when we talk about air pollution, we talk about vehicular pollution, we talk about pollution coming from industries, the smoke and construction. But in reality, pollution can be of two types, indoor air pollution and outdoor air pollution. It sounds a little funny because it's the same air we breathe, so how can you differentiate between indoor air pollution and outdoor air pollution? But take a house like this, where there's a little chula burning inside, there are no windows, no ventilators, what could it do to the people living here? Now this is the biggest problem in rural India, the use of biomass. Now Kinshudan reports on the effects of health it has and what is being done to change and bring in innovative and efficient stoves for people to use. Every time 30-year-old Arshini sits down to bake rotis for her family of five, <coughs> her lungs take a hit. Even the most basic activity of cooking food to ensure survival turns out to be the most toxic experience of the day. Black carbon emissions from this dense smoke for about three to four hours a day is Arshini's daily dose of pollution. डॉक्टर को दिखाया आपने Forced by financial constraints, Arshini mostly uses cow dung and wood to burn her inefficient chula in poorly ventilated conditions, allowing black soot to settle on the walls and undersides of roofs. As many as 87% rural households and 26% urban households in India rely on biodegradable yet polluting fuels like cow dung, wood, coal, crop remains to cook their food. Fuels that are most polluting and rank lowest on the energy efficiency ladder. A recent study by School of Public Health University of California, Berkeley found that the particulate matter 10 concentrations measured in Indian solid fuel using households is about 13 times more than the national ambient air quality standard. Women and children who spend maximum time indoors are the worst affected by household air pollution. Not only Arshini, but other women in the village complain of similar problems. जब आप चूल्हे पे काम करती हैं तो ये धुआं आँखों में लगता है। धुआं तो आँखन में बड़ा हाँ और खांसी उठे धुआं सो जब आँखन बड़ा तो आँखन मासू भी आते हैं। उम्र खाना बनाते समय कुछ तकलीफ होती है आपके आँखों में अब सांस आँखन में थोड़ा। There are specific links with tuberculosis and lung cancer. So infants who are reared up in such homes where levels are very high. Which poorly ventilated, so they run a risk of developing pneumonias. So that is how the mortality rates go up, and that may be one of the major contributors to the high infant mortality rates. According to the Global Burden of Disease study by WHO, about 13 lakh people die of household air pollution in India every year. 1 lakh 35 thousand children under the age of five die due to indoor air pollution. A recent Terry study revealed. If this is what the smoke from cook stoves can do to the walls of this house, imagine what it will be doing to the lungs of the women and children who inhale this smoke for hours every day. But that is not it. Black carbon emissions not only harm the health, but contribute significantly to climate change. 
data shows that household air pollution accounts for 12% of ambient air pollution globally. Solid fuel burning accounts for 21% of global black carbon emissions, about 84% of which is from households in developing countries like India. What is it that is stopping people from moving to a cleaner source of energy? कभी आपने सोचा कि हम अलग तरह का चूल्हा इस्तेमाल करें सर कई बार सोचा है इसके बारे में मगर पैसे की प्रॉब्लम है धंधा वगैरह काम वगैरह है नहीं ऐसा तो उसकी वजह से फिर कैसे कर पाए तो अभी आपको ये कितना कितने का पड़ता है ये चूल्हा यहाँ पे ये अब हम तो वहाँ पे बता गए हैं कोई सात हजार मांगता है कोई पचपन सौ मांगता है तो वैसे मिल नहीं पाता बगैर राशन कार्ड के उसके आई के बगैर Krishna Priya, a PhD scholar who has conducted surveys in West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh and Kerala studying health impacts of household air pollution in rural areas, believes lack of access and knowledge are major roadblocks to cleaner fuel. There have been several uh, uh, cook stove, improved cook stove programs which have been uh, used by the government, which has been uh, initiated by the government and passed. Um, however, issues like um, inappropriate design mm -hmm. um, um, unavailability of um, mechanics if something goes wrong mm -hmm. or lack of knowledge how to even use it appropriately mm -hmm. so it has to be a combination of both availability mm -hmm. and um, knowledge mm -hmm. While many in Korali village still depend on traditional solid fuel to burn their chulas, many like Sai Star have moved to a cleaner option of solar cookers, which is way less polluting. This me tail bhi nahi phukta iti. Bahut fayda rehta aur is me lakdi vakdi ko bhi bahut fayda rehta. Iti ek jalti nahi hai. Aur us me us chule me dhuan lagta hai aankhon me. Is me kuch nahi lagta hai. आपको ये चूल्हा बहुत लोग कह रहे हैं चूल्हा महंगा पड़ता है नहीं महंगा इसका कोई नहीं है जिसका फायदा देखे तो कोई महंगा नहीं है तो बारिश पड़ती है बाहर बरसात में तो अंदर इसको जला लेते हैं In the neighboring house, 26-year-old Nargis is cooking for her family of six on the solar cook stove. She bought as a part of a CSR initiative in her village. कोई सांस लेने में तकलीफ ऐसे कुछ होता था आँखों में परेशानी सांस लेने में तकलीफ ना तो धुआँ तो लगाई हैं जब धुआँ लगाई हैं तो वो आँखें जो देखो भी ना दल दे फूंक भी ना दी जा चुले में इतने बुरे धुआँ लगे अब तो हम धुआँ ना लगे अब तो आराम से पकड़ Recent evidence demonstrates that low emission cook stoves and fuels can reduce black carbon emissions up to 50%. But is there a similar reduction in health risk? Experts are skeptical. If you reduce the wood usage by 25% and therefore let's say you reduce the emissions by 25% and therefore reduce the exposure by 25% that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get any perceptible improvement in health. Traditionally a lot of the focus not just in India but globally on this thinking about household air pollution has been on cleaner biomass cook stoves. The health data is showing us or this kind of health research I was talking about is showing us that they're not clean enough to really protect health can we actually uh, uh, develop cook stoves that are clean enough, biomass cook stoves that are clean enough in order to protect human health? So that's one big technological challenge. The second one is, can we expand our LPG distribution um, further so that actually it reaches out to more people? And the third one, which is more recent, is uh, what are called induction stoves, right? which is the third way of cooking using electricity. With barely any money to switch to cleaner fuel and a cataract problem in her eye, which is perhaps a result of using dirty fuel, for Arshini, the luxury of LPG or a more efficient fuel is nowhere in sight. Well, time now for a short break. On the other side, we take a look at what indoor pollution means in an urban setting. On Clean Air, my right.